Good morning, my Tubies, my TikTokers, and my Twitters. Sheila True Love. Today is March 16th, and it is Thursday. One more day, and then it's Friday. <laughs> and today, what we're going to focus on is our time and how valuable our time is. And this is from my beautiful Joyce, Strength for Each Day, absolutely. And Ephesians chapter 5, verse 16, it says, I mean that you should use every opportunity you have for doing good, because these are evil times. Now, one of the most valuable things in life is time. I've always said, if you waste your time, you waste your life. Our time is very, very valuable. And once we use it for something, it's gone and we cannot get it back. Investing our time in worthy pursuits and things we will be satisfied with later in life, that's very, very important. Time is too valuable to be wasted. If you don't feel that you are using your time in the best way possible, you are the only one who can change that. It helped me a lot when I realized that my time is a gift to me and that's a gift from God and Christ. And if I don't like what I am doing with it, then I need to make changes. Don't complain about something that only you have the power to change. Never put off until tomorrow what needs to be changed today. Let the Holy Spirit guide you and let the Holy Spirit help you and then you will notice that action will be taken. We can pray to our Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father Yahweh. I want to use wisdom with my time. And I ask you to help me make changes where they are needed. Please, Heavenly Father. We ask this through your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. So you see, your time is very, very valuable. Now we're going to move on to your Bible trivia questions. Okay, let's see now. I know I haven't given you answers. <laughs> I've been a busy little beaver. Let's see now, darlings. Let me let me see where I um need to give you your answers. Your answers. Uh we are up to now, the previous questions that I asked you, there is a time for everything and a blank for every activity under heaven. The answer is season. Uh, the next question I gave you was, along with their fellowship offering of blank, they are to present an offering with thick loaves of bread made with yeast. They are to an offering of its thanksgiving which is like my favorite holiday. I love Thanksgiving. Your next question was, as I was with Moses, so I will be with you. I will never leave you nor blank you. The answer was B, forsake you. The tongue of the wise adorns blank, but the mouth of the fool gushes forth folly. And it says, the tongue of the wise adorns a knowledge. And your last question for uh, the last session, the eye that now sees me will see me no longer. You will look for me, but I will be blank. And that answer was B, I will be no more. Now, your next five questions, my darlings. <clears throat> Yesterday, I gave you true or false, actually. I gave you 10 true or false. But if you were stuck on anything, just go to your uh, best friend, Google. I know she's my best friend. Google is my best friend. Your next, your question. Excuse me, I'm trying to drink my coffee. He that scattered Israel will blank him and keep him as a shepherd does his flock. And you can find that at Jeremiah 31.10. Now, is it A, gather, B, punish, or C, Seek. 
Next, all the sailors were afraid and each cried out to his own blank. Is that A, parents, B, God, or C, Savior? You can find that at Jonah chapter 1, verse 5. Next, house and riches are the inheritance of fathers, and a blank is from the Lord. Is it A, loving family, B, long life, or C, a prudent wife? Answer you can find that at is Proverbs chapter 19, verse 14. Next question. Any vow or obligation taken by a blank or divorced woman will be binding on her. Any vow or obligation taken, taken by a blank widow, a widow, B young, C old. Numbers chapter 30, verse 9. And your last question for today. Joshua told the people, consecrate yourself for tomorrow. The Lord will do blank things among you. Is it a wonderful things, B amazing things or C astounding things. And you can find that answer at Joshua chapter three, verse five. So my darlings, how well do you really know your Bible that remains to be seen now, doesn't it? Now, what I want you to do is I want you to have a good day and I want you to be merciful. I was thinking about mercy today also and um, and how important it is in our lives because God is very merciful and without his mercy, we know that our sins, it will consume us. It would actually eat us up alive. You know, God's mercies are new every single morning. And if you need mercy, take a moment and receive it right now by putting your faith, which is a gift from God, putting your faith in Jesus Christ to extend that mercy for you. And we also have to be merciful towards others, just as our Father is merciful towards us. So can you think of someone in your life that may need you to extend them some mercy? And if you do, if you can, then I, I, I urge you to do that. Because, you know, if you stay angry at people, anger is a useless emotion and that is not the will of God. When we have mercy towards other people due to their failures, we not only help them, but we also help ourselves. So remember to be merciful and be very, very forgiving because that is a Christ-like thing to do. Jehovah loves you so much. Jesus loves you. And you already know how I feel. It's going to be a great day, and we know that it's going to be great because we have so many people who love us, and I will see you tomorrow if God and Christ is willing.